support sanctuary cities to protect immigrants from deportation. Yes. Well, there's a soft. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, yeah. But, uh, but I'll, I'll remind folks, particularly on the other side of the political aisle, so did Rudy Giuliani. Uh, the fact is, sanctuary cities keep people safer, they keep people healthier, and they keep people educated for three simple reasons. You're more likely to coordinate and collaborate with police as a victim of crime or as someone that was a witness of crime. You're more likely to engage in sending your kids to school, drop them off, pick them up if you're not worried about the teacher being part of a deportation force. Uh, more likely to get an immunization shot if you're not worried about a nurse being part of a deportation force. The vast majority of cities and counties that are sanctuary counties are safer than non-cities and sanctuary counties. And so it is good, sound public policy. It is. And and that's why Democrats should stand up but, and stop but capitulating. That's, uh, those are the pragmatic arguments. There's also the moral arguments, which yeah. is we should let people into our country. Well, let people. No, it, I yeah. mean, that's that's yes. much more it, important it, but than that. It's, it's look, it's being conflated. Well, it's not a shield for criminal behavior, however, no. and that's but, where but, but Gavin, the that's line where I would needs disagree to be drawn. With you that there's also been research that found, that finds that sanctuary cities act act as a magnet that do, that attract criminal illegals. That say, if I move to that city, yeah. then I won't be facing these deportation. And certainly, and Kate Steinle from your city, and, and I, I, you know, I know you can know this case well. Her family would say that the sanctuary side. They have said the sanctuary status uh, killed their daughter. Yeah, well, you got to be well, very careful there. And, and, and let me just say this with respect. Uh, at the end of the day, sanctuary policy is nothing more than saying two things. One, the federal government's job is immigration policy. Right. The federal government's job is the issue of uh, immigration uh, and from a deportation perspective, from an right. enforcement perspective. Local law enforcement's jobs to keep people safe, and that's when but local ICE government was asking has local the law right enforcement that when you're letting these people out, let us know that we can. We were, them out. by the way, as a mayor, are we did not that making the argument that nurses and teachers and people in this in this private space should be acting as deportation. Forces. Yes, I think that is, that's I'm just, certainly no, not, well, I don't know any that's conservatives who, who, who advocate that. I think that's an exaggeration Cities were, were that is meant to like, you know, make the ICE. fight as if we're jackbooted thugs, and that's not true. Okay, it's just, the, 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 this is where this, this is complicated. Okay. Cities all across the country actually do coordinate with, with ICE, and ICE has it's got as backlogs for, for decades. And so the fact right. is, that's, that's not what the issue is about. The issue is about the fundamental framework of allowing local government the opportunity to choose its most effective public safety programs and not having a dictator of the federal government to tell us how to do our job. Okay. And that's All why right. I, I, sanctuary policy.